Hi there, I'm Al Paranello. This is Surflight Preview, and this is Steve Steiner. Hello. Steve is the uh, artistic uh, uh, director. Let me try that again. The, uh, uh, the producing artistic director. How am I doing on this? Oh, perfect. Yeah, we've done this about 900 times, and I think I got it. The producing artistic director of Surflight. Easy Theater. for you to say. That's a long <laughs> title. How big is your business card? Uh, <laughs> it's very little print. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, uh, we're here to talk to you about uh, Christmas season. Christmas season. It's here. That's nice. And uh, in our Christmas show, you can see we're all decorated for Christmas. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah. So I had some green in here and there's red over there. You know, we really thought this through. He was going to wear a candy cane hat, but he forgot it. <laughs> Last year I did. <laughs> I thought I did something silly like that. At any rate. The point is, we've got our Christmas show coming up, and uh, the dates of the Christmas show uh, are December 5th to December 15th, and it's going to be another amazing show. Why do I know that? Because he's putting it together. <laughs> Now, I'm going to shut up for a second and let him tell you all about it. Well, uh, that's why I'm wearing my glasses, so I can refer to some notes. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the show is about, really about holiday traditions. Uh, it's uh, about some people that are uh, working away at a uh, resort that uh, is sort of fallen into somewhat disrepair. Uh, and uh, there's a, a company that wants to come in and buy the resort and turn it into this glamorous glitzy thing and sort of lose all the traditions of this town and this resort uh, and uh, over the course of time they learn that uh, of the importance of traditions and eventually uh, reinvest into the place to bring it back so that the traditions that they have uh, are able to uh, continue on for many 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 years and uh, they've abandoned the idea of, of uh, turning it into this glitzy uh, resort that j frankly is much more commercial than anybody wants it to be. It's got great songs. Happy Holidays, I Believe in Father Christmas, All I Want for Christmas is You, Another Lonely Christmas. Uh, uh, there, there's uh, the, the chipmunk song is even, the Christmas chipmunk song is in this. Da, da, yeah, that's right. Da, 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 da. Uh, so here's the bells, uh, Carol of the Bells, Jingle Bells, Silver Bells, Ring Those Christmas Bells. Uh, that's the bells mentally. Wow. Uh, you know, uh, there's um, uh, Inconvenient Christmas, Holly Jolly Christmas, uh, Mr. Santa, The Christmas Waltz, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, all kinds of great holiday songs. Uh, that I'm actually writing all the musical arrangements for, and the story of the show has been written by uh, Andrew Foote. You forgot one. Which one? Come on, it's famous. Which one? Ding dong, Avon calling. Oh, uh, that's the in the bell uh, medley, but that's not a holiday. So oh, oh, that's, oh. That's a, it, I, that would I work, it, except it it's, not a, I got it's it not a holiday. I'm here to song. supply ideas. Yes. You, you can reject them, but I thought it was a noble gesture. Oh, uh, consider it rejected. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, what do they call uh, Frosty the Snowman in Hawaii? Uh, water? Nope. Frost, oh. Frosty the Puddle. Okay. Frosty the Puddle. I mean, come on. This is brilliant stuff. It's, uh, okay, but go on. Talk, uh, talk no, to me. Well, I mean, uh, that, that's kind of it. It's, it's got a, a great cast of characters, and a lot of, a lot of folks, I got a lot of folks, there you go, a lot of folks that have uh, been here this season and last season will be joining us uh, in the show, and, um, uh, you know, so there'll be a lot of familiar faces. We always like uh, to bring back folks uh, that have worked here in the past, uh, so that uh, so so that it, it has more of a family feeling. It's really uh, a lot of fun. As 
uh, you know, last year with the, the show that we did, Elf, Elf. Uh, was uh, great was great fun, uh, great holiday show, uh, and uh, some of those folks are going to be back uh, with us this year. And uh, the year before, uh, we did Home for the Holidays, and uh, that was another one that I wrote all the musical arrangements for, and Andrew Foote wrote the story for, and so we... Um, we have a kind of a, a, a bit of a success uh, history uh, working together, Andrew and I, on these holiday shows, and so we like to continue to do that. So listen, uh, what does Santa Claus say in Spain? Um, I, I don't know. I've never been in Spain when he was there. Joe, Joe, Joe. These really? are these really? are these are classic, classic lines. Really? It must be the delivery then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think they're hysterical. At any rate, for those of you who have a sense of humor at home and chuckle through that, you're welcome. You're welcome. So listen, uh, the, the show, Tis the Season, mm -hmm. uh, it, it is uh, going to be here once again from... Um, December 5th to the 15th. To the 15th. And, uh, and we get a big crowd for this, and you're going to love the show this year, as always. So here we are at the end of the year, Christmas season, a holiday season. There's only one more show after this. Yes. There's only one more show. And then we start auditioning two to 3,000 people. No exaggeration, folks. Two to 3,000 people. We start that process in like February, March, April, uh, to find the 50 or 60 people who are going to join us here at Surf Life Theater all of the next year. But that last show is amazing. And that show is uh, something that uh, we call uh, New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might have heard of it. Uh, that and, I have heard of. Right. And that, del that delivery was great. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, One out of three. Welcome. Uh, yes, uh, the Ravons will be here for New Year's Eve for two shows, uh, and each of the last two years we've just about sold those out completely. You can come to the early show and then go out and have dinner, or you know, go out afterwards, or you can come to the have dinner first and then go to the later show and go out afterwards, or go home and watch the ball drop, or go home and go to sleep, or I don't know, pretty much anything you'd want to do after a you know show and that ends uh, shortly after ten o'clock. And that night, the highlight of that night, is that we get to serve 900, let me repeat that, 900. How many? 900. Okay. Pay attention. <laughs> glasses of champagne for you. All you have to do is be here. Yeah. There's two shows, 450 seats, 900 people. It's packed. And it's uh, the Ravons. Uh, and the Ravons are amazing. They are, I mean, they pack this place every time they're here. Yeah. Todd and Meredith and his band doing great Buddy Holly material and other material from the 1950s and early 60s. It's a great, great uh, early, uh, early rock and roll tribute band. So the thing that amazes me every year, and I'm the new guy on the block here, but the thing that amazes me every year is that when we put the schedule up uh, at the beginning of the year, and then we open in June, the Christmas show and the and the, and the uh, New Year's Eve show are, are selling tickets in January, February, March, April. So, um, needless to say, even though there are tickets available, this is the time. This is the time to buy them if you haven't done it so far. So uh, you do that by simply going to surflight.org or call the number 609-492-9477. Now, before we go, we have the greatest suggestion for you. If you haven't purchased yet all of your Christmas presents, hear us out. This is golden. Ready? Here it is. It's called Joe's Dream, The Magic of Surf Life Theater. This is a, uh, a book that was published in-house here. And it's published for one reason and one reason alone. Um, it is a fundraiser for Surf Life Theater. So you can accomplish two things at one time. You can help us raise funds for the theater, uh, for the building fund of the theater, and you can create an amazing Christmas present for someone you love, someone who you know loves this theater as much as you do. Uh, it's the beginning of Surf Life Theater right to today. 
It's the history of surf like theater. And we really have had people scurrying through their basements and their attics to find the old memorabilia. You know, when I purchased this theater, I first thing I wanted to do was to go out and find all the books that must have been written about it. There were none. Then I was looking for all of the books that included chapters about surf like theater. There were none. This is its 70th anniversary. This is the, the icon of this island in terms of entertainment and, and uh, you know, and, and there's just very little stuff about its history. No one bothered to put it together. So we formed a committee. We had many people on that committee. We had regular meetings. It took six to eight months to put this together, and it's beautiful. It's about Joe, Joe Hayes, the man who started the theater. Uh, and put it in a tent down by the beach in 1950. And there were no Broadway shows and musicals. It was just people singing and having a good time. And that's what Joe was all about. You'll learn all about Joe Hayes as you read this book. Um, so it, it, it's the first and the only book about surf-like theater. And it's filled with facts that you had no idea about. And the reason I know that is because everybody I spoke to, no one had any idea of how it started. No one had any idea of what, why he came to, to uh, Long Beach Island, why he came to Beach Haven, uh, what were the reasons behind all of that, what his anticipation was. Um, how what, he raised the money to, uh, to start the theater. That's, that's an right. interesting story right in itself in the book. That's right. So the more people who read this, they come to us and they say, where did you get this information? We worked hard and we asked for a lot of volunteers to give us information. If you love surf light theater, if you know people who love surf light theater, this is the Christmas present that you need to get for them. You can get it right here at surf light theater as you're coming in for the Christmas show. Uh, it's $29.95, once again, every penny every penny no one's making a profit on this every penny is going to the building fund all of the things that need to be built here to keep the theater going um, so that's it but uh, Joe's dream is available you can get it and you know that your friends want it you know that your friends will eat it up it is a perfect holiday present so one last thing I want to tell you we want to tell you is that this guy that I'm staring at right now behind the camera, his name is Frank. And um, he runs a company called Studio 63. And Studio 63, by the way, a lot of his photographs over the last three years are in this book because he, did, he, he covered, he covered the, all of this over the last three years. And a lot, many of the photographs from all of the productions we've done from this year and the two previous years since we've reopened are in this book. So you can relive them if you've come to any of them. And if you didn't come to some of their shows, you can see what you're missing in this book. I want you to know that Frank, however, in Studio 63, they're the official photographers and videographers of Surf Light Theater. And uh, if you need a photographer, if you're having a party and you'd like it covered, if you're having a bar mitzvah, if you're having a wedding, if you know of anyone, please recommend him highly. He's the guy who's helped us tremendously and we really want to take care of him. So thank you so much and um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Mazel Tov and all of that stuff to all of you who support this theater and for those of you who don't. Steve, That's say goodbye to nice people. Goodbye, nice people. See you. Have a happy day.